What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope you guys are doing well out there on this chilly Thursday night. I'm doing pretty good myself, and I hope you guys had a very, very nice, relaxing day. Mine went well, just full as I don't know what. <laughs> I must admit I ate too much. But be that as it is, I come across uh, this particular situation right here. I found out that there's been a uh, arrest warrant in the case of Shaquilla Robinson's uh, death. The Mexican authorities have actually issued it. But the thing is, is this, they didn't actually name a name for the arrest warrant, but it is one person. But I'm sure it's going to be more by the time this whole thing is over with. Now, my speculation is this. The arrest warrant is for the one that's behind these bars right here because that's the one that's actually, you know, seen on the video attacking, you know, Shanquilla Robinson. And that's just what it is. So let's check out this particular video, um, actually news clip, and then we'll get back into the commentary. The death of an American tourist in Mexico. The FBI has now opened an investigation into Sanquella Robinson's mysterious death. Matt Rivers is in Mexico City for us. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Robin. We've been covering this story for more than a week now, and with this new information that just came out uh, really yesterday evening and overnight, more questions than ever now, now surround the death of Shanquilla Robinson here in Mexico. This morning, a family looking for answers surrounding the death of North Carolina native Shanquilla Robinson at a luxury resort during a vacation in Mexico. The FBI now investigating as a bombshell new development has emerged. Mexican authorities say the American tourist may have been alive and that a medical professional on site may have been working on the 25-year-old for three hours before police arrived on the scene. According to local Spanish language reports, one of the guests staying at the resort called for help around 2 p.m. Upon arriving, informing medical professionals that she had, quote, drunk a lot of alcohol. A doctor reportedly said she was stable but dehydrated, suggesting she be treated at a hospital. The guests, however, insisted she stay in the villa. Law enforcement authorities not called until later, eventually declaring Robinson deceased just after 6 p.m. Those reports differing from an autopsy obtained by ABC News, listing that medical professionals arrived at the villa around 3 p.m., declaring her dead within 15 minutes, citing the Charlotte native died from a severe spinal cord injury and a dislocated neck. We got our first day, buddy. This morning, a new video surfacing showing Shanquilla resting in a hammock at some point before the trip turned deadly. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I heard some stuff, you know, a dead body, dead body. And, you know, that just made me wonder, you know, that was their plan all the time. This on the heels of the now viral video, too violent to show, of a female roommate appearing to assault Shanquilla. They just stood there and watched and didn't even try to stop it or break it up. She wasn't even fighting back. They attacked her. Over the weekend, the community gathering to lay the once vibrant businesswoman to rest. Justice can't come soon enough for the Robinson family. They let me know that my daughter's being murdered wasn't going to go in vain. That somebody's going to be prosecuted. And even with all this new information, no formal suspects have been declared in this case by either the police, the attorney general's office here in Mexico. So a formal conclusion surrounding this death still seems very far away at this point. Yeah, Guys, many, 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 many want to hear from those friends, especially after that video went viral. Well, now, um, three hours is a long time trying to resuscitate somebody. Did y'all hear what they said? You know about what the paramedics was doing by all that time you would think that they were would have gotten this uh, young lady to a hospital where she could have got some real immediate you know attention some uh health you know for health care or whatever i mean after all there's no resuscitating a person like that that has you know a broken uh spinal cord or neck injuries or whatever that was just too long like I said, that doesn't make a, a lick of sense to me. They should have got her to the hospital where she could have got some real medical treatment, you know, out of all that time. I mean, what kind of place is that? And then you got the dude talking about, you know, uh, a dead body, you know, and all that while she's resting in a hammock on the uh, floor, whatever. What do you mean by that? 
you know, look, let me tell you guys something. There is a lot of wickedness going on with people in this day and age. Um, and what they're doing, a lot of people are doing, is actually sacrificing blood ritual sacrifices, murdering people, you know, um, to the devils or demons or whatever, and trade for riches and fame. Now, as we know, it has been said that these people was claimed to be Shanquilla Robertson's friends. And the way, you know, they say it go is um, you have to uh, sacrifice someone that maybe that you supposedly love and care for. <laughs> well, as far as I'm concerned, if you're talking about doing something like that to somebody, you don't love and care for them at all. But be that as it is, that's what, you know, uh, I hear that people who do blood rituals, you know, uh, say that's what, you know, they have to do, you know, and the way this whole entire situation seemed to have went down, there was some planning and plotting on this young lady's life, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not saying that that's what the whole entire motive was, would be to actually, you know, uh, sacrifice this young lady's life. You know what I mean? To devils or whatever. For riches and fame. But I'm going to tell you this. I wouldn't put it past these low lowlifes. You understand what I mean? One thing's for sure. This whole entire story. You know. Uh, the truth will come out. It looks like the first one that's going to be arrested. Is like the one I said. That's implicated in the video. That's doing the most damage. You know. Once they get the rest of them, you know, once the, this one talks, the other one's going to talk. And the next thing you don't know, you're going to have the truth eventually. That's basically the way it goes. You know, when people start snitching, as they say. <laughs> but they are starting with the right one. The first one right here, they start with the right one first. I, I can say that much, you know. Now, as this particular story tends to unfold i'll make sure you know i'll keep updating you guys on it then that way you can keep track you know of what's actually you know going on because i know a lot of you guys want to do that i know i want it i want to keep track to see make sure that this family gets justice for the life the loss of life for uh, their daughter shanquilla robinson here you know i want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular story right here i'm interested in your thoughts views and opinions on it like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.